Morning guys, welcome to Wentworth, down here at Jamship Village. This is the entrance as you walk in. So we've got a few bits going on as you walk in. You can see the, uh, the long putt challenge in the middle there. On the left hand side, we have the American Golf Area, which you'll find me this week. So I'll be here providing free lessons for American Golf, so you can see free PJ lessons. So this is where we'll be, doing a few lessons in there. So come down and see us, free lessons a week. Uh, we've also holding a challenge, so we've got a longest drive, we've got nearest the pin, and then we have the famous pressure putt challenge down at the end there, which we'll have a look at later. We'll try and get some uh, challenges going on that today. So this is the 100 foot putt. Doesn't look very busy this morning. So it's Tuesday, so practice day. So no one on the leaderboard yet. A bit quiet down here in the village on the first morning. So skills challenge. So we've got uh, longest drive, pressure putt challenge, nearest the pin, get points for that. We can have a look at this later, we can have a go. So three PJ lessons just there. Long drive, challenge. Hello, you all right? You a golfer? No. <laughs> Tell you what, it looks nice and cool in there. Yeah, it's lovely. Drive. Oh, might have to have a go later. Longest yard, yeah. Longest. What's winning so far? Believe it or not, it's my colleague Steve hitting at 281. 281. Right, I'm going to be in there. So there we go. How's it going, boss? You right? Okay, thanks. And you? Yeah, good, mate. Good to see you again. Who have we got in here? Oh, it's a lefty. It's the Lindholm. Tour pros. Tour pros aren't allowed in this, are they? Oh, we're huh? Good, yeah. The tour pros allowed on this or what? You know this guy's a tour pro? Is he? <laughs> yeah, tour pro. Come on, man. He's working his way to a tour pro. Yeah. Right, guys, we're down at the American Golf nearest the pin. I bumped into this man all the way from Finland. How we doing? How you doing, Dan? Nice good. to meet you, mate. Good. It's been a long time. We've uh, been chatting on social media for a couple of years. Yeah, at least and that, yeah. Obviously, first time we met today. So we thought we've got a few minutes. We're going to do a nearest the pin challenge. So let's see how we get on. He's warming up and everything, look at this guy. Right, so we've got 126 yards. Uh, what would you do? Uh, three shots each? Yeah. Nearest the pin? Yeah. So 126 yards, I'm going to go first. Which way is the wind going? Uh, no wind. No wind? No wind. Yeah. Right, okay. So easy. So I'm to four inches, yeah? Okay, one, two, six. Yeah. Delete, delete that one. Okay. 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 Just, I'm just trying to get a feel for the machine. A little loose. <laughs> I was aiming way right there, wasn't I? I was aiming at the flag. Oh, yeah. 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 So basically you've got to straight. Well, I've just got concentrated in the green at this rate. Shot DQ, got one. <laughs> it's, not, it's not a good advert, is it? Okay, take a bit off that. This is the one. That's the one I hit. Go on. Alright. Right, I've hit the green. How far is that? 16 foot 9 inches to beat. Right, just need to. So, obviously, not as long a hit as me, Dan, eh? No. Go over the 9 9. Just go for the smooth. Easy, smooth swing. Easy 9 9. Good line. Look at that. I think it's going over already. A little bit thin? A little bit thin. Like 27 foot. I'm just blame it on the pin. What clubs do you use? Well, I've got the night combo, so a bit old school at the moment. I thought you'd change yeah. those. Will be, mate. Nice stride, that one. Look at that. Another one. A little bit better, getting a little bit. Getting closer, mate. 24 foot. Seems to get down. You need to get down that gym again, mate. Hit to win. Hit to win. Nice show. Nice show. Unlucky, mate. Good stuff. So just a little bit of fun there with Dan. 
good to finally meet him. Yeah, cracking mate. Um, like good luck with your golf this year. Yeah, and hopefully cheers. we'll we'll have to meet up for a game at some point. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, we come over to Finland. We can try out the, maybe the, maybe the, the very tight I'll, fairways and the I trees. Be, I wouldn't be coming. Out. I wouldn't yeah. be coming in the winter. That is for sure. Yeah, yeah. looking yeah, at the weather over there. But awesome, mate, to meet you. Enjoy yeah. the rest of your trip. Yeah, we'll do. And uh, hope to see you soon. Yeah, cheers, man. Yeah, cheers. Thanks, guys. So a great little spot here. Good American golf. This is where the lessons are. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's the Jumpship Village. And out the back here, check yeah, out this view. Look at that. Pete Cowan giving a bunker lesson. Awesome little spot. Good shot, Sanj. So Thank we've got much. we've got the grid set up here with Sanj. He's come for his lesson. He was uh, very intrigued by my swing system here, which I've sort of explained to him. Um, and it makes sense? Absolutely made sense. Yeah. The science behind this is quite basic, but it looks complicated, but the reality is it's absolutely common sense. And I'd just like to say I've had, a, I've had 15 minutes, it's probably going to revolutionise my game. Thank you. Appreciate that. And uh, I'm going to walk away with a couple of thoughts in my head, and that's all I wanted to have, a couple of thoughts. Thank you appreciate very much. It. I appreciate that, Sam. Nice that's to meet fine. you. Take care. Thank you. Cheers. Uh, golf's played on an angle. So we played with angled golf clubs. If the golf club was built upright like that, we'd be playing like croquet. It would be the natural plane angle of the, the club head and the handle would move up and down the target line. But because the club's on an angle, that represented on the ground isn't a straight line. It's actually an arc. So you can see these strings here. This outside one represents the club path and the inside one represents the hand path. So your swing is constantly, or the club is constantly moving around the body in an arc. It doesn't move it up and down in a straight line. So when you swing, the idea is there's certain movements you have to make to keep the club on these lines. Now I was explaining to Sanj a minute ago about the importance of ball position, having the ball just before the center point. So because there's an arc, there's always going to be a tangent point, a point where the club reaches its most outward point, and it's going to move back around this way. That happens when the shaft and the left arm line up with the shoulder. That's like the centre point of the swing. And after that, the club and the hand will start tracking back this way. So the swing's constantly moving around the body in an arc. It doesn't move up and down in a straight line. So this is called the grid, and we use this to help practice and also to help shape shots as well. Okay, so it just gives you a little bit of an idea of what, yeah. what's going on, yeah? yeah. Okay? You can, it's a it's tangible. It's a visual. Yeah. It's, it's a visual, it's kind of like a, yeah. someone once described it, it's kind of like a road map for the golf swing. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, you wouldn't, you wouldn't get in your car and just drive without any, without any uh, lines on the road. This is kind of like the same for the golf swing. Yeah. yeah. Right guys, just giving uh, Brian Lara a lesson. Big turn down. Turn down. Can we just open up your whole, whole body to turn? And then, as you swing back, do like the your pro. left shoulder mm -hmm. goes more down as opposed to across. Down. So, shoulder down. Is it? Good. Down. So I was just, what I was doing there with your head was just getting your head position more that ball. You have a tendency to have your chin up a little bit. Yeah. So I want your eyes more focused on the ball. So when you set up, your head is more looking down at the ball, so your eyes are looking you at the ball. You have a lesson. I see a lot of golfers that set up their chin up. You don't play golf. They're looking at the ball at the bottom of their eyes rather than out the centre of their vision. And they get it. 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 I think if you look at the best players, if you look at, uh, this is Adam Scott, that's what he used to do. If you look at him now, you see how his head's more down. Right? If you look at um, Ernie L, so you play, you play golf with Ernie L, look at his head. See how his head's down like that. If you get your head down and then move your shoulder under your chin, it's not going to be in the way. So you, you have the chin up and you go more across with the shoulder. But if you've got the chin down and move the shoulder down, it won't get in the way. And also it will help you keep your central vision on the ball. You look at all of these players, you see how their neck is more rounded at the top. Nick Price, Nick Faldo, yeah. So you're more looking at the ball rather than having the chin up. When you've got the chin up, that forces you to turn your shoulders more level when you need them turning on an angle. Because we play golf on an angle, so we need the shoulders turning on an angle. 
Yeah. If we if we play golf part part like this, then we would turn them like that. Because we're on an angle, we need the shoulders turning on an angle. So don't worry about having your chin down. Yeah. It's not going to restrict you. Trust me. Have a swing at the club. Have a swing at the club with your chin down. Yeah. And just try and get that shoulder underneath. Okay, good. That's good. Yeah. Did that feel? Yeah. yeah. Turning on an angle because we play golf at an angle. Yeah. Back in the clubs. Yeah. Okay. Good luck. Yeah. I'll be. Uh, I'm gonna walk around, see, okay. see if I can see you play a few shots. All right. I'll be checking uh, feet position. Fifth. I hope this fifth helps tall. for tomorrow. You're off the fifth, fifth morning or afternoon? Yeah. Afternoon. 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 Okay. All right. Well, good Thanks luck for tomorrow, that. man. Good Thanks to meet for that. You. It was a pleasure here to meet the man, the legend, Brian Lara. He's coming for a golf lesson. Hopefully he enjoyed it. Hopefully he picked up some tips. He was hitting the ball great. Um, so you're playing tomorrow in the Pro-Am, Brian? Yes. Who are you playing with? I'm playing with uh, Sir Ian Bottom, Ian Alan Bottom. Lamb and our pro is Darren Clark. Pro is Darren Clark. Yeah. Good team. Some good cricketers there. I'll tell you what, one thing I would say. I was surprised when you came in and you picked up at the right-handed club. <laughs> I thought you'd be a left-hander. I, I should play left-handed. The amount of nonsense I play Well, it looks right like you've had a good swing left hand <laughs> anyway. But anyway, thanks for coming in and for good, luck, me. good luck tomorrow, yeah? Thanks very much. Cheers. Thanks, Cheers. Brian. Okay. Nice to meet you. Okay, so we just come to the end here, day one, Tuesday. Plenty more stuff to go. See what happens the rest of the week. Hopefully we can get some more celebrities in the uh, challenges. Maybe even a lesson or two. Bacon's probably lost his phone again. But just come to an end. Glorious day at Wentworth. Really looking forward to the Pro-Am tomorrow. <laughs>